Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. Do you think there's any truth to this argument about um, if you're in cold weather, you can digest alcohol better or you need alcohol in cold weather? I, I think these are just anecdotes. You know, people people will want to make reasons to drink alcohol wherever they are. So people in cold countries want to drink alcohol. They'll tell people in warm countries that, you know, cold weather, we want to drink more alcohol because this is how it is. So, I mean, I don't think there is any scientific rational because alcohol is alcohol. It is ethanol, which is metabolized same in all of our bodies, including men and women. Actually, women have higher chance of developing liver disease even with the smallest amount of alcohol. So they, uh, when it comes to alcohol uh, metabolism, it is different in men and women. So if imagine a guy develops liver disease with uh, 200 ml of alcohol, a woman can develop the same liver disease with maybe 10 ml of alcohol. What? Yeah. So the women, they digest and metabolize alcohol differently and they get alcohol liver disease and alcohol injury much earlier and more aggressively, rapidly than men consuming the same level. Do you think this is like nature's way of protecting the okay. womb? So uh, I, 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 I agree to that because alcohol in pregnancy, disastrous. What happens? Like if, if you're pregnant with a baby, which is eight, nine months inside the stomach yeah. and you have a night of drinking, binge drinking, what happens? Yeah. Um, so, so that is two things. So we have trimesters. We have first trimester, first three months, second trimester, that is four to six months. And then the third trimester, that is seven to nine months. So alcohol is different in all three trimesters. So if you, if the first trimester, the first three months is when all the organs are developing. So if you take alcohol in excess amounts or even occasionally at that time during pregnancy, it will affect the development of the baby. So babies will come out with developmental abnormalities. This is known as fetal alcohol syndrome, where they'll have small faces, no ears, deformed noses, you know, deformed heart and deformed other organs, deformed skeletal system, bones and all that. And some of those babies don't survive. So that is fetal, that is an extreme fo uh, form of alcohol use in, I mean, alcohol related disease in pregnant women that affects the child. Now in the second and third trimesters, pregnancy is actually a normal state. I mean, it's a, it's a normal physiological state, but it is a supra physiological state. Everything in your body is like 10 times, it's like a trailer instead of a movie, mm. right? That's how pregnancy is. Everything is up. You know, your, your blood pressure is up, your, you know, a lot of things change in your body. Your blood volume is higher. The, the requirement for your organ systems is much higher. So everything is higher. So in that sense, if you take alcohol in second and third trimester, obviously it is going to affect the baby because there is, there are studies to show that uh, alcohol use in mothers during the second and third trimester can actually promote alcohol use in the baby when they become older. It's like giving a kid a sip of whiskey saying, oh, it's nice, right? So they'll, they'll also feel that, you know, because they are also living inside. They'll also feel all of that. The baby and also gets drunk. Of course. This happens because whatever the mother is doing, it affects the baby. Right. And, and the most important part is that mothers have a uh, high risk of developing a lot of other diseases during alcohol use in, in the second and third trimester, like high blood pressure, which is very life threatening. This is a condition known as eclampsia where the blood pressures go high and you can lose the baby. You can have an you can have a spontaneous abortion. You can have bleeds. You can have a lot of problems. You can have seizures, uh, brain problems. Everything can happen with alcohol use in pregnancy. Are there still some women who choose to drink during pregnancy? Uh, there are, but I have not seen any woman who has drunk in pregnancy in my entire uh, hepatology career. I have not seen it at all. Now, the better part of this I would like to add here is I think it's very interesting. Uh, because you said uh, the female male effect. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do hepatology is because it's such an interesting topic, hepatology. Because if you look at the liver, it is sexually dimorphic. Meaning, the liver works differently in males than compared to females. Wow. So ideally, your heart and a woman's heart, it, it works the same. It pumps, it has the same capacity. I mean, it, it, the, the physiological functions are the same. But a liver is different. So the liver of a man functioning is different from the liver of a woman functioning. So much that there was a study from Queensland University, just published in 2022. I think it was published in this journal called PNAS, PNAS. It's a very famous journal. I mean, it's a very, very good, good journal. Uh, Proceedings of the National Academy of Science in the US. Very interesting. I know the name sounds <laughs> weird, <laughs> but it's a thumbs up journal, uh, Go on. PNAS. Go on. So what they showed is that they showed that when the liver is under stress, 
and is getting damaged it changes itself to a feminine version it becomes more female so the the liver has receptors for both male hormones and female hormones so when the liver is getting injured i mean with whatever cause alcohol or um, or fat or viruses the to take care of the damage and to protect itself it becomes more feminine instead of becoming more masculine what is a feminine liver versus a masculine liver yeah so the feminine liver actually has more of receptors and more of metabolic profile metabolism that is very commonly found in women the livers of women so this whole alpha male thing if you actually look at from a science perspective and from a liver point of view to protect itself and to make it stronger the liver the liver actually becomes more female not male so it's an alpha female thing for the liver when it becomes injured you said higher basically met- metabolic function yeah metabolically and functionally physiologically functioning liver becomes more feminine than masculine basically means it works faster it does um, its job faster it's, it's not it's i mean to oversimplify it i would say that uh, its effect on our the chemicals produced in the body the hormonal uh, functions everything becomes more female that is how the liver functions when it when it becomes stressed and this is very interesting because uh, the female hormone estrogen is the female hormone estrogen and progesterone so estrogen is actually considered a protective hormone it's a protective hormone because it it has good effects on the heart it has good effects on the blood vessels and it has good effects on the liver also so this is very interesting that a masculine liver a male liver becomes more feminine when it becomes under stress mm. with the, the the whole alpha male thing just gets completely disrupted with uh, the liver functioning mm. situation yeah it's I think, interesting i think the uh, narrative is that only your reproductive organs are different in men and women but this is a cool fact you like <laughs> exactly. it's also the liver yeah, which is the liver very is different. different it's very different mm. and it's it functions differently in times of stress also that is the most important part in times of stress you mean when the person drinks alcohol or or, or when the liver is getting damaged and then to over simplify that to understand a feminine liver versus masculine liver better uh, understand that the effects of alcohol happen faster with women like women need lesser yeah, alcohol yeah. to get more injury the, the same level of injury as men and to get more drunk yes they get more drunk yeah they get more drunk because faster. their livers are more feminine yeah if you enjoyed this clip from the ranvi show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone